Last year, we ran out of whiteboard pens in May. So we had out of whiteboard, whiteboard pens. pens. We had no whiteboard pens for the children after May. This is absolutely enormous here. They say there's 30,000 teachers out in force today. And this is just the start, potentially. We haven't had one week since September when we've had the heating and the photocopy and the internet working. Money is so short, and yet my boss is supposed to fund my pathetic pay rise from her existing budget. It's just not possible. Gillian Keegan needs to listen and Gillian Keegan needs to pay up. I, I've been teaching since 2004 and I remember it didn't used to be like this. We used to have money to support special needs, we used to have money for books, we used to have money for resources and the Tories have destroyed it. People go off and do other jobs. My students constantly ask me, so you've got an engineering degree, why are you a maths teacher? You could go off and be an engineer. That's exactly the problem. I could, what do you say to them? I say, well, I love doing my job. I love what I do. And I tell them I could leave if you want me to, but um, I do it because I love what I do. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be paid fairly for it. No. How long have you been a teacher? I've been since 2019. And so staff members who you've been there longer, I mean, do they say, they talk about feeling that real terms cut? They're pay, the higher up the band you go, the bigger the cut you've seen over the last 10 years or so. So new starters, they've had their pay cut a bit compared to 10 years ago. But the people who've been there for a long time, their pay's been cut by something like 25% the best teachers which if they're not getting the, the money they deserve the best teachers aren't going to be in the industry for much longer. We can't recruit support staff because we're paying them £9.60, £10 an hour and they can get £12 working in Sainsbury's. I mean there have been a lot of teachers leaving the profession, is that something you've thought about? Um, yeah a lot of teachers leave due to mental health, there's a lot of pressure on teachers so um, it's not really surprising so mental health concerns, workload and pay is a big a big issue. I was very lucky in that I was, a, I was teaching in the 90s and then in 2000s where a lot of money was pouring into education. There was a lot of really positive change. And I can't believe that I'm seeing younger people in the family who want to, who want to enter the profession just thinking they can't do it because there's, there's not enough pay, there's not enough resources, there's not enough support, there's not enough training. It's, it's so sad, I feel. I feel horrified that I'm seeing things genuinely going backwards. The thing, just leaving aside the teacher strike for a moment, the thing that really strikes me is this. Why are these strikes, day after day, week after week, so damaging in particular for Rishi Sunak? It's because Rishi Sunak brands himself, describes himself, sells himself as a problem solver, a technocrat. And every single day, events like this remind the public that those problems simply in no way are being solved. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.